I read somewhere a very nice saying about seeds. He said they were trying to bury us, like to bury someone who is dying, but they did not realize that we are seeds. Everything, if it's alive, starts with seeds. Either it's a vegetable, either it's an animal, including ourselves. If seeds die, yes, also we are dying. Qu'est-ce que tu nous as préparé aujourd'hui? Couscous royal à Mais à la base de produits locaux Effectivement, la zone. Dans la zone. Des produits qui n'ont pas fait des milliers de kilomètres pour arriver chez nous. Là, ça, ça donne intérêt, ça donne, mmh. ça donne envie de manger et ensuite il n'y a pas eu de, de pollution. Ça, c'est vrai. Colonizing African food policy, African agriculture or African governance is not the right way. Among the solutions we are proposing, we can talk about agroecology. It's about farmer managed seed system which is very sustainable, not depending on a corporate X or Y. We can do it by ourselves and that's what we want. Tout à fait. Je pense que les semences paysannes peuvent nourrir le monde parce que depuis des ancêtres, ils utilisaient ces semences paysannes. Et au niveau de la casamance, un riche est reconnu par sa production. Et c'est à base de ces semences paysannes. Il y a des familles qui ont des greniers de 2 à 3 ans des années précédentes de la récolte récente. Donc, ce qui veut dire que ces semences paysannes sont reproductives et elles s'adaptent aux conditions euh, climatiques. The idea of collecting your own seeds is important because they work with the indigenous microbes in our soils. I mean, the life that happens underneath in the soil is incredible. There's a whole universe under there that we are only now beginning to understand. So these seeds, if they are grown here, if they are indigenous to us, they are also going to be working in contact with what is available in the soil. And that's why we need to save these seeds and protect them and work with them. The art of agriculture is to follow ecological rules, to produce food, learn from nature, work with nature, understand how nature does it. It's around much longer than we're around, and copy it to the degree you can, and you'll be fine. The industrial mindset needs uniform commodities that always have the same character. Whether it was a hot, a dry, a wet, or whatever year, they want commodities to be of exact the same quality every year, standardized, you know, which is fundamentally in violation of what nature is. It's different every time, it varies every year, you know, it, it must in order to survive. That's what makes it very knowledge intensive. The uniform concept of the other was not knowledge intensive. It's like you can be, a, you can know nothing. You still sit on a tractor, you run your tractor, you don't, you get by with a minimum school degree, you know, and therefore you're cheap. Therefore, you can keep the prices low. This is knowledge intensive. You need to understand, you need to be an artist, you know. With agroecology, is about farmer's empowerment. If I'm talking about empowerment, the, the farmer is using his brain. He's not a robot. He look at the climate, he look at the available resource, and he farm, and he is able to produce whatever he wants. With industrial agriculture, every single season you need to go to the shop for having your own seed. But with farmer managed seed system or agroecology, you have your own seed, you put them, you do your observation, you do your even your test and you improve. In the farmer managed seed system, every single seed is a compilation of years of knowledge or years of information towards its environment. Whenever there is a new uh, situation, climate and so on, the seed express this capacity which make it more resilient. And those seeds are the seeds coming from farmer seed system. 
the ones that are coming from the industrial seat system are in a very nice place with glass, with AC, and so on and so on. And whenever you cut the AC, they are dying. There are a lot of evidence that have shown that agroecology is far more sustainable than industrial agriculture. First, in terms of climate, with agroecology, you are cooling the planet in terms of the inputs you are using, either as fertilizer, either as uh, crop management and so on. It helps to cool the planet. Second, in terms of biodiversity, industrial agriculture is killing the biodiversity, while farmer managed seed system is helping to increase biodiversity. And it's from biodiversity we can have almost whatever we need in terms of uh, medicine, in terms of uh, nutrient, in terms of adaptation to various climate, various soil, various landscape, and so on. It's really a lie to think about agroecology in a purist sense. Uh, we can never really have a pure one because our food system has been so distorted. So we need to focus on transitions. How do we transition towards agroecology and help everybody along in this process? How do we work with other farmers, small scale and large scale, to get us there? So instead of producing just one thing, can you try add other crops? If you are growing maize, pumpkins go well with maize. Beans go well with maize. Beans leave nitrogen in the soil that the maize needs. Right? So you are reducing your cost of actually buying these inputs. Experiment on one, just one hectare, this thing that we're talking about, and see how, how well it works. And experiment with diversification. I would say diversif diversification for me would be key. It's about increasing the productivity of the whole farm, not only one crop. Whatever is produced in this diverse, integrated, interconnected farm will produce this diversity of a basket of food. And this is what we want to transition towards. We know that even large farms can and should produce agroecologically, but we have to also bring into national food production small-scale farmers. Farmers need to be supported in their farming systems, they need to be protected in terms of their rights, and they need access to markets, but not markets controlled by agribusiness, markets that we as the consumers support. So I know that it sounds unattainable, but anything is possible if we all put our minds and hearts to it. <laughs>